Hey, what's up guys? This is Freddy Bonfa back with another amazing tutorial. And in my latest YouTube tutorial, I just break down four typical days as a freelancer for one of my jobs last year. And you can see that the output per day is well, quite a lot, I would say. So maybe you were wondering, hey, how can I create like this amount of renderings per day for my client? And therefore, just to give you an answer to this question, I just finished these four lessons on my Patreon. So in this lesson with round about 80 minutes of training, I will just show you how you can go through that process to create, for example, all of these renderings in one day. Maybe you can even do more, but you can see that this is what you can do definitely in one day when you go through the process of creating style frames. So just in case you are curious about a case study based on these beautiful spline shapes, then these lessons will be super helpful for you. And um, just to give you also a little bit of more value here on YouTube, I would say let's just jump into Cinema 4D and I will just show you how you can create such beautiful shapes. All right, and by the way, these three shapes, just in case you directly want to render out something, for example, here with Redshift, then these three shapes, I will share them on my Patreon. You can just click on them and also just change them a little bit. For example, you could make some beautiful close-up shots here, or you could also go for an isometric view like I did it here on the left. But yeah, just in case you want to start with something, they will be shared on the night tier on my Patreon. But now I would say, let's just fire up a new scene and I will show you basically my process of creating spline shapes to just get all of these beautiful details here. So I mean, I know that splines are not the most trending topic in 2024, okay? But if you take your job as a 3D artist seriously, then you should know how to work with splines, all right? So this knowledge will come handy all the time. And yeah, you basically create splines and extrude them and then create beautiful shapes. And this is just part of the process, all right? So you have already seen me taking the spline tool here and just go into the scene and create a shape like this one, for example. Just be sure that when you click and you drag a little bit, then you make a round curve, but this is something that you don't want to do. So I want to just click, 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 and just really want to have these ones as hard interpolated points. All right, then you get something like this one. Of course, now you could go over here and say, hey, this one is a B spline. So you could do it like this one, but you could also, if you just want to have a little bit more control, you could select one point, right click, and then go to chamfer, click and drag. You can see this one is changing a little bit. Just go over to the radius and increase this one to a shape like this one. Now you can select the next point, click and drag, give it a custom chamfer like this one. And you you can see that I will basically do this for the whole shape here. And the benefit of doing it like this is that you can really make all of these shapes custom like you want to have it. So just do it like this one. And maybe this one will have a little bit of a bigger chamfer. So you could do something like this one. All right, there you have your beautiful shape. You could also press KK for the knife tool and do two cuts there. Press spacebar to get out of it. You could do the same thing again. Make even more cuts there. Now you could, for example, move these ones down here if you want to have something more like a technical detail there. But then you can also select all of these points, right click chamfer and chamfer these ones again. And now you will get this one just a little bit more smooth. Okay, this stuff is beautiful. Now you could deselect all of your points, right click and create an outline. Now you will get something like this one, for example. Okay, and there you will already have your first ring here. Now you could put this one into an extrude shape and there you will have your first shape. Okay, and this is just one fast breakdown of how to create these shapes. I have to say when you want to go a little bit more advanced like these ones, then there are some things that you want to keep in mind and this knowledge will be shared on my Patreon. But other than that, I just wish you a lot of fun now with this new knowledge and have an amazing day. Be powerful, be prolific. Bye everyone.